Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Brick Nation. Today, I am Brick by Brick, like always. Just kidding, you know. Brick by Brick is not the only one on this channel. Go check out all the other stuff. But today, I am Brick by Brick, and I am here to show you all of the first wave of 2016 Ninjago sets. And ignore the background. I should have gotten a... I was going to put the Misfortune's Keep box there, but then I realized that it's in really bad shape and I probably shouldn't. So, yeah, Jay's Dragon is kind of there, helping to block the way. But, you won't be seeing that bad area for most of it. I had to put everything kind of, you know, a little bit close together so it all fit. But, this is all of the Ninjago 2016 Wave 1 sets. Jay's Dragon over here was the last one I got. Looks pretty good. Happy with that. And it's, I think, the most visually striking of all of the sets from this wave. Tigerwoodo Island also looks really good. Um, definitely a very suiting landscape-based set. Uh, I'm also really happy with the way the Raid Zeppelin looks like especially that high air balloon use uh cole's dragon kind of a let down to be honest like if we look at that head it's a it's a face only a mother could love <laughs> and i guess i guess cole likes it i mean he's riding the dragon still uh ninja bike chase kind of generic in terms of the build for this Kai motorcycle, it's not the most unique thing, but this one is relatively, relatively interesting. It's got some interesting techniques, and I do appreciate that um, this little jetpack back there, the one that is built around a trash can. It's my favorite use of a trash can piece. Just kidding, not really. I mean, like, it's interesting. But it's not that interesting. But um, also, you know, that little hot air balloon from the Taigoto Island. It's, eh. This is the poly bag that was given away with purchases from Shop at Home. I figured I'd throw it in there. It's not too impressive, but that face of that dragon looks better than Cole's dragon, so that's an accomplishment. <laughs> uh, these two figures over here, Zane and Nia, aren't really skybound figures but they were released in that skybound battle pack along with those guys up there the two pirates in the middle so figured i'd throw them in and um over here zane's vehicle from the raid zeppelin not it's not a bad little build like it looks okay i just prefer to not use it because it's like uh, it doesn't really fit in because it's not really part of the actual show same with this Lloyd jetpack here, but let's pull this out of the way. Um, and there goes Jay's dragon. But um, this here is kind of not the best looking, and it's not part of the show or anything. But that winch feature in the back just look just works really well. So gotta give it special props for that. And then. Putting that back, that is part of the big one, Miss Fortune's Keep. This set, I don't know, I mean, it's not like... I, I actually don't really like it that much. It's not bad, it looks okay. It looks somewhat like it's supposed to, but I feel like in order to do this vehicle properly, they'd have to make it really, really big. Like, maybe a $200 set would make a decent representation still wouldn't even be minifigure scale. I feel like the big problem with this is the lack of the ability to put dog shank on there. You can't have the whole pirate crew. There's no deck space like there is in the show, or very little at least. But the uh you know the features and playability works pretty well like that right there. And then the other thing that's really neat about this wave is the collectible sword of souls. It comes in each set. You can see. I'm just highlighting all of them. And I really like that concept. 
Like, not even... There, there's some of them, like Nia's Blade and Jay's Blade. Or the, you know, the, soul, the Sword of Souls with their powers on there. They aren't that... Like, they didn't really happen in the show. They were never captured. But, I feel like just having that is kind of a nice little, you know, collectible aspect. That makes you want to get all the sets. Like, that's the main reason I got Cole's Dragon. Let's, let's be honest. Nobody... Nobody's gonna buy the dragon, they're just gonna buy it for that Zane sort of souls. But the other cool thing about that, um, or about that, uh, you know, that collectible aspect is the fact that if you get them all, you get an extra printed tile with each of the ninja's faces. Gotta come up with a good use for those, but at least I have them. Mm. You know, really nice pieces. And I mean, parts use and build of all of these sets is innovative as always. I mean, Ninjago is always a theme that consistently puts out new uses for parts, new parts, some cool stuff. Very cool in terms of just the building experience, even if you don't really care about the shower characters or anything. You can appreciate most of these parts and figures and characters. And you will notice that there was a couple of things uh, customized here, like I did put the shoulder armor on Lloyd there um, instead of one of the other Kai's. And there are a couple weapons missing, but this is the mm, pretty much the look that I would be going for. I gotta find a good place to display these, and I will be doing another update video. Not sure if it'll be on the Brick Nation or if it'll be on my channel, but uh, once I get the remaining two Skybound sets from the Summer Wave, the Lighthouse Siege, and the Green Energy Dragon. I already have Cryptarium. So, stay tuned for that, and um, I'll see you guys all later. I have a couple other cool things, mostly Ninjago-related, planned for the next, like, two weeks, I think. So I got some good stuff coming soon. And be sure to uh, check back to see the videos from the other guys on the Brick Nation, because uh, there should be some cool stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all later.